Welcome back. Today on the bench we have an old Samson Q5 headphone amplifier. These things are uh, in a lot of places. They're pretty, um, pretty everywhere. And uh, this one is approximately 20 years old, I would be willing to bet. Let's see if it's got any land. No, doesn't have any date stamp on the outside, but we'll look inside and see what's here. These are kind of interesting in the fact that they use a 16 volt AC power supply. So it's got its own little rectifier, bridge rectifier inside. These particular units are made in Korea. Basically, you just got uh, balanced inputs and stereo links balanced stereo links um, to link them across to another one so that you can do more gives you uh, one in one stereo input uh, five outputs with their own volume controls and a master so that you can set it up and it also has for maximum uh, and it also has a mono stereo switch so that you, know, you can switch the outputs from mono to stereo in case you're just putting one in the in inside you want it to come out of both ears like I said this one's been in service for about 20 years take a look inside see what we got oh well right away we got a couple of problems <laughs> Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Take a look back here. This is interesting. Like I said, this thing's been in service for a while. These are your inputs. Um, right here, these two are your inputs for um, audio. Uh, these are your links to go to another one. And if you look at them, right there, this thing is broke all to heck. So is this one. That means that a plug was put into the back, like here. And I'll hide that out, but and a lot of pressure was put on it. It was probably bashed into the back of something and mashed pretty hard. So, those will have to be replaced. I'll have to find them. Also, strange as it may seem, see those capacitors? Rounded on the top there. Those have got to be replaced. These are Sam... Samwa. Okay. So it's got a couple of little ones right here, a couple more here. All of these guys are bulged. What are these? These are um, 50 volt, 2200 at 50. I don't know if I have any. Wow, you can tell this thing has been mashed up against the back of something pretty hard. Because even the power even the power thing here has been pushed in it is fuse protected uh, go back out a little bit where is its little rectifier oh, here's this little bridge rectifier over here for, uh, for a power supply this uses a lot of Come on, focus. You can do it. Maybe you can't. <laughs> yep. 
5532s in SIP packages, single inline pin packages. Um, those are unusual. Fortunately, I think those are all good. And a bunch of 2SB 988s, um, transistors, and behind those, what are these? 2SD 2058s. So, and it's toasty. Can you see that on here? You can tell this thing's been running for a while continuously. It is toasty. Alright, and it's got a, let's see what else, that's a GL7818, so that's a 18 volt regulator, I guess, and behind that is a 7918 for a minus 18 volt regulator, and that's about all that's in this thing, wait a minute, what's this, down here that is another SIP package, but that is a, whoops, uh, look at it under here, 4560L, NJM 4560L, uh, I don't know what that is, I'll have to look it up, but anyway, I gotta find these. That's going to be fun. But for right now, let's take this board out of here and see if, if indeed 20, 20 years of continuous service. Oh, that, that's wobbly. All of these, look, all these transistors are just wobbly. It's going to be interesting to see. How about the ones behind them? No, they're in there pretty good. All of these guys, I guarantee, have broken free on the bottom. Wow. So, let's see, this board just pops out here. A couple more. Uh, okay. Ugh. Wow, they're in there. I don't even know if I can get parts for this thing. That'll be interesting to find out. I presume somebody, if I got a bad IC on here, I, I assume somebody out there still got still got parts for it. Oh. Can't replace those sips with a dip, that's for sure. Pull this out. And you. Oh, nice. Everything's plugged in. That makes it easier. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't see any physical damage on the bottom at all. However, let's take a look down here at these transistors that are all wobbly. Oh, yeah. Can I get this to focus? Look at that. Look at it move. Now it looks like the pad is still connected. On both sides. But they're all that way. Everyone Every one of those 2SB 988s is bad. And look at this. Here's a, from the, the front one of these 
quarter inch stereo connectors this one's been beat to death too and if we look at the bottom see them move they're not even connected anymore so this one is a little bit this one appears to be okay this one's busted I mean it's it's completely broken all the way around here see it move and this thing was in service yeah how if we look down here at these guys they're still in there but these are broken I mean all of these are these are busted on the top so This is going to be interesting. There's a, going to be a lot to do on this. Right now, though, I want to pull off one of these caps. Well, let's get one that's bulging nicely. Of course, my uh, <coughs> solder sucker cooled down on me while I was gabbing away. It looks like looks like these caps have been changed. And the board wasn't cleaned very well, see here? It wasn't cleaned at all. But you hot enough yet? No. Wow, this thing's in sorry shape. He didn't tell me this had been f repaired. It may, n <clears throat> it may not have been. It has to have been. The factory wouldn't let this thing out in this kind of condition. Nah, I can't believe that. Somebody's been in it for sure. Okay. Let's see if you're hot enough now. Yeah. Okie dokie. You marked on the board? Yeah. The black dot is positive. Alright, we are just going to... Uh, it's, I'm going to have to get back to this thing in a while. We'll mark that positive so that I remember later. But we'll check this SAMWHA. S A M W H A. Yeah, not not heard of that one before. Let's see what it says on the little magic checker box yeah better safe than sorry showed out the leads it's fine okay so it is a capacitor 1699 microfarads so it's 300 No, 500. Wow. It's 500 low. So it's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, two, two, it's out of tolerance by a bit. And it has 0.13 ohms loss. Or uh, ESR. Let's get another one here. Quite frankly, that's better than I thought it would be. Uh, let's see, let's put this on automatic.
Yeah, this one's two at point oh nine, so this one's okay. Let go. Thank you. <sighs> These uh Quite frankly, these are a little bit better than I thought they would be. 2.08, so that one's alright too. I don't know though, since I got them off, I think I'll replace them. You know, since you're in here, what the heck. This is 2.1 uh, .07. This is the original one that I measured. Yeah, 1.87. Okay, so they're all okay, but they're bulgy. I don't like that at all. But these guys. That I really don't like. It's pulled the pulled the pad away from the board. I don't think there's much of anything I can do about that. Anybody's got any suggestions, let me know. Um I mean, the, the pads are still connected, near as I can tell. Let's test that theory. We'll go from one end of the trace to the other end of the trace. Single sided board, so don't have to worry about that. So we'll go from, we'll take this last one here, this really wobbly one, and we'll go from the pin to there, yeah, that's fine. And from the pin, no, wrong way. Yeah, that's okay, and that one's okay. So evidently, the pads are still connected, but they are just wobbly. So what I'm going to end up doing here is. Uh, putting some hot snot on these guys although I don't know it looks like they get pretty warm have to look into that and see what I come up with because that's disturbing and I gotta find these don't even know what they are <coughs> oh my excuse me let's uh... Take one off of here. Yeah. Well, it ain't hard to get off there. <laughs> They're not being held in there by much. As you might guess, considering looking at them. I just want to get it out of here and see if there's a name on it. Of course, you know, with this kind of old stuff, even if there is a name, it might be one that ain't in business anymore. You never know. Found these pliers. These are neat. These are crescents. They're, uh, 
got a little, little bit of a flat plier to them but and they give you a lot of grip in small spaces which is neat wow trying not to completely destroy this plug taking it out okay come on baby you can do this well, there's that part oh forgot a couple way back here Okay. CH2. Let's look at this and see how bad is this thing. Alright. Well, <laughs> it's pretty bad. The back comes off. I, maybe that's supposed to come off. But it's definitely not supposed to be shattered in the inside like that. And as I was looking around on the bench here, just I found this. little piece which evidently is the little piece yep goes right in there that's the little cap that holds it on now I'm not going to glue it back together again but I'm going to see if I can find something wow that's uh, not great okay well this one's going to have to wait, and I'll get back to you when I uh, have found some parts huh. hmm. and figured out what I'm going to do about these wobbly resistors, or transistors here. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, well, so here we are, back with the little Samson... Uh, headphone amp Q5 headphone amplifier and I went through I found got all the caps these are uh, lug caps on the bottom they kind of a strange spacing but I found them and they worked uh, checked all the rest of the little caps there's a couple little polarized non polarized here if I can get down in here and show you right there there's two and there's a couple more stuck way up under there you actually have to bend them down to get the board in uh, those are okay these are a cup 4.7 non polarized these uh, here are 4.7 polarized caps and uh, this one was uh, 140 ohms ESR well that's what my meter will go to but so ESR on this one was high and this one was about 9.1 ohms ESR, but both of them were less than 50% rated um, capacitance, so I changed those. And these guys back here, both of those were less than 50% rated capacitance, uh, around 50 to 47 microfarads, which are supposed to be 100, and the ESR was high on both of them. So I replaced those. And we're going to check it out and see if it works. So, okay, I have a feed going into it the old cheap way <laughs> out of my little uh, signal generator little whatever that's called that generator and uh, let's get a set of headphones here hard to do with one hand okay and plug her right into here cross fingers aha yes See if we can get this. Yeah. Let's get uh, this one. Yep. 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 And 
Yes. All right. So we have it's fixed. Now I did have to go through and re-solder the bottom on the bottom of the board. Every one of these 2SB what are they 599s? Oh, let's see. Can I get in that close? No. Mm, I guess not. But anyway, 2SB 599s or whatever they are on the bottom of the board because every single one of them is very loose. Um, just by the the pads breaking loose on the bottom, but they also had broken loose around the around the bottom of each one of the pins coming through. So that's because it got so hot that it actually melted the uh, melted the solder or got it hot enough so it would break. I'm thinking about getting little heat sinks to go on top of each one of these guys if I get them that are real small because they got to fit in this case and there's not a whole lot of room as you can see between the top of there and there but I think I can get a little bitty little bitty heat sinks to go up on top of those at the very least I got to get some GE2 uh, silicon and silicone these things back in place but now it works so I'm happy about that so when we get the silicon and put it on there we'll come back well I went out and got some of this GE silicone 2 plus and put some blobs on three of those transistors that were loose. I was able to re-solder the bottoms and get them to, the rest of them to stick pretty well. They're not, not wiggling around anymore except for this one, this one, and this one over here. Um, that one. And they're, the rest of them are in there pretty solid. So we're just going to leave it like this and test it. Make sure it still works right. Okay, so it's it's on. And I'm sure you can hear it. It's there. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. That's pretty good. So that one works. That one still works. That one works. That one works. And that one works. Master works. Cool. So we're going to count that as finished and put it back into service. Hopefully it'll last another 20 years. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it.